guys welcome back to my channel today i'm actually going to be talking about or showing you guys my go-to products um holy grails empties whatever you want to call them the products that i've been using for a very long time and i still love them before i get into this video i wanted to just let you guys know that i'm sorry for not being consistent i have been in school um, I've been taking finals and everything. I am actually on summer vacation. So like I'm kind of relieved from school right now. I also have been dealing with a very broken phone that was not recording or taking pictures or anything. And that's what I used to record. So I got a new phone and I'm back in action. Yeah, and I actually have a lot in store for you guys i am going on vacation with my family and i plan on doing daily vlogs because one you should you know um capture memories like that but also i don't know i just want to kind of like show you guys what i'm doing and i want to challenge myself to posting daily so every night after the festivities end i will be editing and posting so yeah okay and let's get right into the video so, I have shampoos, conditioners, um, I have leave-ins, styler, and then I also have like heat styling products that when I do use heat on my hair are bomb. Um, oh, and then oil. Yeah. There's two products that are not here that I'm probably just going to like talk about and like, you know, put pictures or whatever that are also like holy grails so let's start with shampoo i have been using aussie mega moist shampoo for probably a little bit over two years now i know that there's let's see the ingredients yeah there's sulfates which aren't good but i feel like this shampoo when I do use it or when I do use shampoo in general, I feel that it really, really cleanses my scalp. And I don't know. I just, I really like it. And I also pair it with this, which is coming next. But yeah, moving on. Okay, so I have, like I said, the Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner. Every curly girl knows that this conditioner is bomb. Bomb. Like, it has perfect slip it's light well it's heavy when you're using it as a conditioner but it's a really good leave-in i use it as everything leave-in detangler conditioner everything it is bomb it smells good it really works for my curls personally so i love it yeah and i only have one conditioner also so yeah moving on okay so for the next thing I have a leave-in. And like I said, I do use the... It was itches so bad. Like I said, I do sometimes use the Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner um, as a leave-in. But when, my, when I feel that my hair needs that extra moisture or sometimes I do like protective styles on my hair and I like to really, really moisturize while doing so, this... It's bomb. It is the um, Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Leave-In Conditioner with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar. This is what it looks like. Oh. It's almost gone too. All these, except for the conditioner, all these are like almost gone or gone. But this is really bomb. Like, I feel that it leaves my hair so moisturized and it really makes my curls pop. And let me see. I don't really like how it smells. It smells like Play-Doh. I've been told when I wear this that my hair smells like Play-Doh. But I don't care. Make my hair smell like Play-Doh if it's going to do what it do. You did. So moving on to deep conditioners, masks, or um, all that stuff. I have two. Three. I have three. I only have one with me because the other two are gone. The first mask is the Manuka Honey, sh ooh, Manuka Honey and Mafura, Mafura, Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. Bomb. Oh my gosh. 
I've never used a mask that made my hair feel that much like butter. When I rinse it out, like I'll put it in and then I'll twist my hair up in like four twists and then I'll put like a, um, either a plastic bag or like a, um, a plastic shower cap. When I say bomb, oh my goodness, I keep saying bomb, but it is so good. I rinse, I leave that in for like an hour and a half to two hours maybe. And I rinse it out and my hair is literally like butter. It feels so good. It smells so good. I wish I had the container to show you guys. It is so bomb. <clears throat> I literally love it so much. The other deep conditioner is also from Shea Moisture's, um, or Shea Moisture. And it is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen, Grow, and Restore Treatment Mask. And I got it with this. So it looks like this, but it's just um, like a shorter um, container. Yeah. When I say bomb again, oh my goodness. It's, they, they're all, I just love Shea Moisture. Like their masks are so good. I literally love them so much. And they all have different purposes. So I would use the Manuka Honey um, one when my hair is like really dry and really really needs some help but i would use like the strength and grow and restore one if let's say i need just like a normal hair mask or like a normal deep conditioner so for like if my hair is dry but not too too dry or like it's just time for wash day and i oh i need some you know a deep conditioner or something that's when i would use that one Okay, so this one is the Mango Nago, if I'm saying that right, and Hemp Seed Oils High Porosity Moisture Correct Mask with Bobad Protein and Apple Cider Vinegar. That's what it looks like. This, as you can see, is almost gone. This mask I will use if, like, um, I straighten my hair. Um, because they say it restores or corrects damaged hair or helps bring it back. I still have damaged strands. My hair looks messed. I still have damaged strands in my hair. So sometimes I will use this every now and then. Um, but this is when I use heat. I use this a lot if I use heat on my hair. If I get braids or a sew-in, I will use this because I feel that it kind of helps my hair snap back. I don't think I like the... I don't really like this one, the smell of this one. It's like more flowery than the other ones. But yeah, this is the last of the deep conditioners or hair masks. Moving on to stylers. Now, I don't know why, but I don't use that many stylers in my hair. Like I haven't tried that many because when I find something that works, I stick to it. And for me, that is the Quenching Coconut Curls Frizz Define Curl Styling Milk by um, OGX. Can you see? Yeah. Like I said, gone. It is really good. Um, it's when you put it in your hair, it's kind of like, I don't know how to describe the feeling of it. It's like slick. Like when I put it in there, it's like slick. And... I like to like finger coil some of my damage strands and I just feel that it works really well. It doesn't make my hair super crunchy. There's no flakes. Um, I don't put that that much when I do like do a wash and go, but it really works really well. And I like it works really good on my hair. So and I've been using this for a minute. I used to use this when my hair was like really damaged um, before I actually cut my hair and it still worked. Like it would kind of bring my damaged curls back. So I really like it. Moving on to like gels and edge controls. I first saw this when I got my hair straightened and she used it on my edges. And it is the Silk Elements Mega Silk Extra Strength Edge Control with Olive Oil and Shea Butter. That's what it looks like. And once again, gone. It is bomb. It doesn't, 
Now, the only thing I can say that's bad about it is if you use it in one spot and then like the next day you go to like style your hair again and then you put it in the same spot, it does start to build up. But that's normal for products. Build up is normal. So I don't know. I really like this. I like it on my straight hair. I like it on my curly hair. Um, mainly for heat though, it doesn't curl your edges up um, and it doesn't get like oily. It stays where you place it. Um, you know those edge controls that just get all over the place? No, this is really, really good. I got this from Sally's. Yeah, and they I think they have little, like a little baby one, like a to-go one also. But yeah, it's really bomb. It's, it smells like edge control. Okay, so the other edge controller gel that I really love is um, Eco Style. Eco Style is bomb. I use the olive oil eco style gel, so the green container, and I use that when I slick my hair up and ponytails. I use it when I am doing a bun. I use it when I do protective styles, like to kind of smooth everything down. I use it on my edges. I use it when I wear my hair down and I like to slick, I like to slick like right here down if I have my hair down and it just makes it look more polished. I use it for everything. The only thing I don't use it for is like in my hair. I've tried that before and it leaves like white residue in my hair, which I don't really like, but I like it for everything else. I use Eco Style Gel when I want less of a um, permanent hold. And then like the other edge control that I showed you guys, I use that when I want like a more permanent hold, like for maybe like a few days. But Eco Style, it's like, you spray some water and then it's like kind of gone. So yeah, I really like Eco Style Gel. Um, I haven't really tried any of the new ones. Like I know they came out with the coconut oil kind or a coconut Eco Style. And then they have like the flaxseed. And I really want to try some. So I might do a video. Like a first impressions. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that's it for gels and edge controls. Moving on to oils, I have here the, um, you know what the hell I'm doing. You heard me. Okay, so this is the Jamaican Mango and Lime Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This is the extra dark kind. Um, when I bought this, they didn't have, like, the original. I feel like they're the same, though. Um, it's a really thick consistency. You probably... I don't even know why I just tried to show that. It's a really thick consistency. I like to use this on my wash and goes or if like I'm doing like a protective style like I've said before. I just know that it's really good for your hair and it, a lot of people have grown their hair out from using this. So yeah, I just, oh, the, the whole thing peels off and it's in another language. Is this Spanish or French? I don't know. I just think that this oil is really good. It doesn't get too oily when I use it in my wash and goes. It is a very heavy oil, but I like to put it on my scalp um, also while doing wash and goes. And then I just kind of run my fingers through like the ends of my hair. Yeah. I don't know. I just think it's very good. Um, you can use it. It has natural ingredients also, which I love um yeah okay so another oil funny story i lost the lid another oil that i use for everything is coconut oil and i don't even know what brand this is but every time i get coconut oil i just make sure that it says extra raw virgin unrefined unrefined you have to get unrefined because refined is when they take all the good things out so yeah, this is coconut oil and i use it when i want a less heavy oil in my wash and goes like sometimes when I do wash and goes I'll just do like a leave-in and then like coconut oil because I want more like of a fluffier look but then there's times where I use heavier products because I want my hair to look more together so yeah coconut oil I use it on my body I use it on my face I use coconut oil after I shave I put it on my legs and stuff um Let's see. You can cook with coconut oil. Coconut oil is bomb, okay? That's all I gotta say. 
Okay, so on to the last thing. I have heat styling products. Now, I don't use heat on my hair often. I feel like I've talked about heat a lot in this video, but I don't use heat on my hair often. Last time I straightened my hair was January. Yeah, January, and I don't plan on straightening it at all in the summer. Um, I'm trying to do like once a year, but I probably will end up straightening it like when it gets colder outside. But the first product is, once again, Silk Elements, which is the same brand as the Edge Control. Um, but it's the, oops, it's the Silk Elements Mega Silk Olive Oil Heat Protection Spray with Silk. Y'all. Y'all know them one like heat protecting sprays that feel like they're not doing nothing or they are so oily like they weigh your hair down and I am one of them people. It's a lot in here. That's how you know I don't straighten my hair that much. I'm one of those people where I hate when my hair is weighed down or oily when I'm straightening it. So this is bomb and it's for relaxed and natural hair. Um, it's for dry hair, which I didn't even see that. But it is so good. It's like, it goes on kind of, I'm going to spray my hand and show you guys. You see how oily it is? I'm just going to. It goes on kind of oily, but when you apply heat, the oil goes away and it's just like the silk is there. And it makes your hair so flowy and I don't know, I really love it so much. I love that. Um, he protected and I know that it is protecting my hair because when I do use it I don't get damaged I don't know I just know that it's really good for my hair and the last thing um, is also from silk elements it is the glossing polish and this is the little container of it um, this is almost gone but that's because I use this when I'm straightening my hair, I've used it when my hair is curly, when I'm slicking my hair up, and then like I want a little shine on my ponytail or something. Um, but it is the glossing polish and it is really bomb. I like to use it when I'm blow drying my hair. Um, and then I'll like blow dry my hair and then I'll just run it all through it. And then I use this and this. So after I blow dry, I put this and then this I put on each individual piece and it's just it makes my hair so shiny it if you use too much this does get kind of oily but I mean it's a glossing polish what do you expect so I mean it says as brilliant luster and shine helps eliminate frizzies perfect for all hair types seals and color and then it says for hair is soft and smooth as silk like me so that brings us to the end of our video if you have any questions about the products that i've showed you guys today and like want to know where i got them or how much they were just comment down below and i will let you know like i said i will be posting daily vlogs next week i'm gonna try to get maybe another video out um this week also i'm gonna get another video out this week I'm going to post daily vlogs next week and yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed like I said if you have any questions comment down below if you want to leave a suggestion comment down below also don't forget to like subscribe and share I really appreciate it and I love you guys